Before I get into this video, we are giving away a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED edition. We're also giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom, along with a Tears of the Kingdom pin from PAX East. Whew, man, it feels good to be at our milestone. You can go ahead and enter the giveaway down in the pinned comment or in the description. And now we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers. So I would appreciate if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so today we got two little things on Tears of the Kingdom. And one of them is about Xbox gamers because for some reason they are deciding to target Tears of the Kingdom as something they want to go after, which is weird because I thought Xbox gamers and Nintendo gamers were getting along, but... Something happened recently that's making basically Tears of the Kingdom become a target uh, in some crowds. But the other thing we want to talk about, and we should probably get to this first because this is actually new news. This is new for Tears of the Kingdom is a new piece of Ganondorf art has been posted online. And as far as we can tell, this is official. Uh, I got it from Nintendo over on Twitter, but I think this came from a different social media account in another country for Nintendo. Uh, here's what we can see, though. It looks very much obviously like the art we've already seen, except we got the front view of Ganondorf here. We get a good look at the tier that supposedly is his new jewel on his head. Uh, a good look at the inside of his garb that he wears that looks way fancier than the black outside. Quite intricate. Uh, and just some really cool details in general. I'll put a link down to Nintendo's uh, posting of this so you can get a look at the original image for yourself. Now, the one thing I want to get into, though, is this deal with the Xbox gamers and them coming after Tears of the Kingdom. And a lot of this has to do with a new upcoming big release for Xbox known as Redfall. Now, I'm really excited for Redfall, and I've enjoyed all of its gameplay presentations, but it's had a weird slate of news lately. Uh, so one of those pieces of news was that it was supposed to be an always online game, which obviously upset some people because, hey, there's a single player campaign. Why the hell do we have to be online for that? Well, they have now since said, hey, we're going to try to remove the online components from things like the single player. Then they also noted that if you play this game online with friends and you're progressing through the story, only the host of the game actually progresses through the story your friends do not, which is pretty ridiculous. I wish they would release a public update addressing that and maybe just delay the game because, you know, everyone should progress if you did something together, not just the host. But that's neither here nor there. That is obviously a thing with Redfall that is another red flag. And the most recent one that's really dragging Tears of the Kingdom into the mix is that it was announced, despite being promised to be a 60 FPS game, that Redfall is going to launch with only quality mode enabled at either 4K or 1440 at 30 FPS, and that they won't add the 60 FPS performance mode until a patch later. And what sucks about this is the game to date had only been shown off in 60 FPS, so you could argue that there was some false marketing there. So naturally, a lot of fans of various platforms that like to participate in console wars have been poking fun at Redfall and Xbox gamers, because this is the first big game for Xbox really since Halo Infinite over a year ago. So I honestly still think the game looks great, but you know, these are some really interesting developments and it does seem like the game is launching before it's really ready. Well, they want to defend themselves and they, for some reason, are choosing Tears of the Kingdom to defend themselves with, which is really weird because Tears of the Kingdom and a first person shooter multiplayer game are really opposite ends of the spectrum for gaming. One is focused heavy on that action, first-person, multiplayer experience. The other is an open-world, single-player experience. I don't know that you could really compare them, but they wanted to do it anyways to defend themselves, and I want to give full credit to Player Essence uh, for pointing some of these comments out to me, because I probably wouldn't have found them otherwise, because some of these Xbox gamers don't have much of a following. One of them I'd actually had seen. We'll save that one for the end. That one did have the big following, but... Yeah, it's really weird. So first we have Elijah over here on Twitter saying, people complaining about Redfall, which is free on Game Pass, being 30 FPS, versus the same people hyped to pay Zelda Tears of the Kingdom priced at $89.99 Canadian at 600p and 24 frames per second. And look, first off, just to clarify some things, there's some factual inaccuracies in this statement about Tears of the Kingdom. First off, it's not running at 600p. Uh, it ran at 900p docked on Switch, Breath of the Wild did, 
and 720p uh, handheld on Switch, this game's clearly going to run it at least that, so 600p is not correct. And while, you know, 24 FPS, I understand because of the frame rate drops we saw in Breath of the Wild, we don't actually know what frame rate that Tears of the Kingdom is going to run at. We presume 30 FPS, but we don't know that it's going to have frame drops down to 24. That is a weird assumption. The other factual inaccuracy in here is that Redfall is free on Game Pass. Game Pass costs money. Whether you're getting the three month, the six month, the year long, or the month to month subscription, it is a subscription service. Sort of like any other subscription service, the content added to the subscription service is part of what you're paying for every single month. It is not free. This is a common misconception of these services. No one on Netflix goes, man, we're getting a free new season of this next show or a free new movie on Apple TV. Hey, we got that Tetris movie. It was free but you pay for Apple TV, so it's not free. How do you guys think these things are getting paid to be able to be made? They're just handing them out like free candy? No, obviously there are subscription fees involved that pay for all of this. So very weird comparison with a lot of factual inaccuracies. But then we get to our next comment coming from uh, Vishal Goal on Twitter who says, Redfall 30 FPS on current gen, delay it until it's ready. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom at 25 FPS with 720p, release it right now. Now again, these are two completely different types of games, so I don't understand the vitriol being thrown at Zelda. We also don't know, again, the frame rate of Zelda. It also might be 1080p well docked, we don't know. But what we can say is that Redfall was actually shown off at 60 FPS. At no point was Zelda Tears of the Kingdom promised to be a 60 FPS experience. And they're even in launching Redfall admitting that they're adding 60 FPS later. So that's the difference. People want it delayed because they showed us 60 FPS, FPS gameplay, promised 60 FPS gameplay, and are stating we're going to get it later. That was never a promise with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Moving on, we have some other uh, statements in here. This one coming from James over on Twitter saying, how many people who are caught up in the Redfall 30 FPS drama are going to play Tears of the Kingdom in May? How many of you all played 30 FPS? S games just within a couple of years. Do you keep the same energy for all those other times? Curious. Uh, and it's weird because obviously one Zelda is a, a third party or a third person game and it's not an FPS and it doesn't require competitive advantages through multiplayer, uh, which 60 FPS and above is genuinely considered better for. I'm not saying 60 FPS Zelda wouldn't be better. Of course it would. But why are we even comparing a first-person shooter on the Xbox Series X, a significantly more powerful system, to Nintendo Switch? And even when we're just talking about multiplayer games, when Nintendo does do multiplayer games, see Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon 3, those games are 60 FPS. Because even Nintendo recognizes multiplayer experiences are better at 60 fps so much better we might even sacrifice some visual quality to make sure we have 60 fps uh so even just talking about similar style games um nintendo does focus on 60 fps when it matters um single player games in general have always been noted to be okay at 30 fps and then we've seen this across the board with tons of sony and xbox and nintendo games with 30 fps is still a standard sometimes for, for single-player games. But, uh, yeah, it, it's a, a weird, a very, very, very weird sentiment. And then we have maybe our most popular uh, person on Twitter today, uh, at least most popular Xbox fan potentially here, in Snap Blast Play saying, Zelda at 30 FPS, then he shows an image of, you know, basically children having fun with Switch and smiling, and then Redfall at 30 FPS, which shows the classic... Um, angry gamer yelling into a microphone holding an Xbox 360 controller that it's funny because that Xbox 360 controller has a piece of uh, electrical tape holding the battery pack on, which I remember back in those days. Sometimes we did have to throw a little tape to keep those battery packs attached. Uh, yeah, look, it, it, it's to me, this whole comparison is just silly. I don't think these games deserve to be compared. I understand what some Xbox fans are doing. They're tired of having a game that they're excited for trashed by people. Maybe they're fine with the 30 FPS. I think the situations are just different, though. Not only are they completely different types of games, Tears of the Kingdom was never promised to even be 1080p, let alone 30 FPS and uh, or 60 FPS. And Tears of the Kingdom is releasing on hardware that released in 2017, whereas Redfall is dropping on hardware dropped in 2020 on 
as Xbox touts themselves the most powerful home console ever released, and Redfall is exclusive on top of that, and Redfall was showing 60 FPS gameplay this whole time. They have yet to actually even show us 30 FPS gameplay. Everything from Redfall has been 60, clearly promising a 60 FPS experience, and even admitting they're going to patch in 60 FPS later. That's what makes people feel like Redfall maybe should be delayed, is that they promise something that they're going to deliver eventually after the game comes out. People don't like that. Imagine that they promise these four new abilities in Tears of the Kingdom, but you can only have them in a patch that releases, say, two months after Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So until then, you don't have your new arm abilities. But we did show them, we did promise them to you, but now you can't have them for two months. Yeah, you would just delay the game until that content's added in. That's just not what's happening here. And obviously there was a focus among the devs and probably it might not even been their decision. It could have been among the publishers that visual quality was more important than gameplay quality. And that's always something you never want to see in a first person shooter, especially one that involves multiplayer aspects. In addition to the fact they really need to fix the fact that my friends, if like Eric's playing Redfall with me, he gets no advancement if I'm the host. That to me is ridiculous. It means if I play with my friends, we got to play through the game two, three, four times. That just shouldn't, that shouldn't be the way that this game functions. That's the number one thing I want to see them address. I'm not even that upset about the, the frame rates, although I do think they should be 60 because they promise 60. But anyways, guys, you let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Are you just as baffled as I am about this comparison? Also, in regards to the new Ganondorf art, what do you guys think? And I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, you guys are awesome and amazing, and I'll catch you in that next video.